Now at this point, Cynthia Arce is not charged in the death of her daughter. The daughter's father's attorney, Martin Rosen, who we spoke to yesterday, says a cause of death for little Gabriella could come at any time. In this particular spot is where they had their New Year's celebration, where the ball drops. Thousands of people come out every year. Mayor Tom Roach told me, you see those sanitation trucks? They'll be here then too. With that shooting still so fresh in her mind, Vita's afraid to put her head on the pillow and have a restful night's sleep, fearful of having nightmares of people running from that shooting. And as witnesses heard the engine of that Toyota rev down West Grand Street, it almost seemed like the pedal was stuck. Well, the Toyota eventually slammed right into that guardrail. And the most surreal part was for the people that were watching all of this, they saw an 82 year old man get out of that car without a scratch. The outpouring of support for Anthony Sinertia has been enormous. The Pelham Funeral Home Director telling me that at yesterday's wake for Anthony, there were nearly 4,000 people. That's two thirds of the population of the village of Pelham. This is more than just a snowstorm. These are dangerous wind conditions. Blizzard like conditions were along Glenwood Avenue in Yonkers. 111,000 of their customers lost power during this storm. They have now put power back on for 75,000 of those customers. But that leaves 28,000 with still no lights. There was supposed to be a sock hop dance at this school tomorrow night, but that has been postponed until June 1st in what the school is calling a precautionary measure. Meanwhile, police say the student that allegedly made those threats will soon be processed in family court. The 84th production of the Radio City Christmas Spectacular is now in its final weeks, ending January 1st. Not only does American Christmas send these displays out to New York City, Westchester, and across the globe, but they also do television show sets. I have to tell you, the greatest thing about a day like this is not only the faithful fans coming to the stadium and sitting out in the elements for hours, but it's that they're so pumped when they do it. So, opening day 2018, it's in the books here in the Bronx. This is not how four-year-old Luciano DeMarco wanted to watch his favorite team play ball. I asked him yesterday to watch the Yankee game, which he loves watching, and he goes, he said, I want to watch the retards. It's sad. It's sad. Luciano's mom and dad, who live in Harrison, brought their son to Tuesday night's Yankees game against the Reds. Luciano, who is developmentally disabled and wears a helmet to stop him from banging his head, was then berated. By an adult speaking exclusively to News 12, his mom in disbelief. When he said that, the phone dropped to the floor. He covered his ears and started hysterical crying and shaking while Yankee security ushers just stood there. Angelica DeMarco says Luciano has sensory issues and doesn't understand social cues, which is why he was part of Friday's day at Playland for people with disabilities. And it may also be why he could have acted out at the game. He may have kicked um, a fan seat that was sitting in front of us with excitement. Not expecting this reaction in a video that has now been seen thousands of times on Facebook, but what made it worse for Angelica was not getting any help from Yankee Stadium security. We asked for a place for him to go. We were told if we leave the stadium, we can't come back in. Richard Giacovis, News 12. Like most other two and a half year olds, what is it? Jimmy DeCrescenzo loves his mommy. I know. Uh -oh. Loves his toys. <laughs> and really loves that. chocolate. <laughs> but what Jimmy hasn't been able to do is say how much he loves those things. Right now, the biggest need that he has is the ability to speak. It's okay. <laughs> and they came back with a diagnosis of autism. And that was only six months ago. Jimmy's mom, Jody, devotes herself to Jimmy. Clean up. 24-7. There you go, buddy. Pictures of Jimmy still in his mommy's belly, adorn the walls inside their Ossining apartment long before she knew what little Jimmy would have to face. Well, I was in tears naturally because I was scared that, you know, I wasn't going to be able to be strong enough to raise him. And well, it was scary until Jody posted about her son's diagnosis on Facebook leading an anonymous and generous donor to gift Jimmy with something that landed in the mail that ultimately changed his life. My name is Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> and I had no idea until I had it in my hands and seen him smile at me when he realized. <laughs> you want to do colors? It's called the Toby tablet, and every time Jimmy uses it, one finger, 
All he has to do is press a button. I live in Austin. <laughs> and this nearly thousand dollar device gives him a voice. Neither he nor his mom ever thought he'd have. He's able to say I put it in or I took it out or what color he wants. And with this tablet, Jimmy doesn't only make requests like when he wants to clean up or the things that he loves. He even has the ability to say his name. I am two years old. And his age. And Jimmy is stronger than ever. I <laughs> he keeps me working every day. In Austin. You find the strength for your kid no matter what. Richard Giacovis. All gone. Yeah. News 12. The Oscar goes to. It's Hollywood's biggest night. Leonardo DiCaprio. A night where movie stars are awarded for their work with a statue that has become synonymous with the term award, Oscar. That you know, what you probably don't know. We sharpened up some of his features. Is the person who actually hands Hollywood's biggest stars their personalized trophy. No, it's not another actor, it's Adam Demchek. You as a winner, you, you bring us your Oscar and we have your nameplate waiting for you. That's because before they appear in Tinseltown, Adam's polished Talix factory in the town of Rock Tavern, New York, has to make them. We've just completed our annual run of the Oscars. This is the second year the polished Talix has been responsible for crafting Hollywood's most prized possession. We made 60 Oscars, so hand polishing 60 Oscars. You need a good amount of people to do that. All 60 of these coveted gold-plated bronze statues have already left Orange County, and they're on their way to Hollywood. For Oscar Sunday. There's a lot of components to the sculpture, to the trophy, yeah. so it moves through a lot of different departments. And that all starts here at Polished Talix. This is a prototype. We start with a rough casting, a brand new casting. Waxes get a ceramic shell built around them. The wax gets melted out, the metal gets poured in, and you end up with a bronze Oscar. You like me! The thing is, there's something missing from those Oscars the winning actors are holding. It's Adam, who's backstage adding their name to the trophy, and then he's the one who hands them out personally. Two little screws, give it a nice wipe down so it's clean when we give it back to you, and away you go. That's a finished Oscar at that point. From Hollywood Hills to the hills of Orange County, remember where the real star was born. The chin, the nose, the lips. In Rock Tavern, Richard Giacobus, <laughs> News 12.